I'm Tom, and this is a look at how to assemble the VTEC Sit to Stand Learning Walker. So, this is a really great walker for your toddler, for your kid who's just learning to pull themselves up. Um, it's really easy to put together, and it has this cool electronic piece that we'll see that you can actually use up to the preschool years. So let's go ahead and start to assemble it. So, this is the pieces that we get. Um, we're going to locate this big uh, main piece of the walker, and then we're going to take the, um, these little wheeled pieces on the side, and um, we're going to insert this into the top. Here. So you can see there's this square opening on the top of this. There's a square on here. You want the wheels to face outwards on this. Um, there's a little selector that's going to face in. And we're just going to go ahead and insert these. Um, and it's just sort of a friction fit for these to start. We'll see there's a step that's going to secure them. But this is in there. Um, and it only fit one direction and, uh, and on the proper side. So if it doesn't work, try using the other one. Try switching them around. Um, we'll go ahead and take this and do the same thing on the other side here. The other thing to look for, there's a hole in each of these pieces, and there's a little hole you can see on the inside of the, uh, it's a little hard to see here, but on the inside of the main body of the walker. Um, and if we align those holes together, then that's an easy way to see that these are um, positioned properly as well. So again, just going to push that in um, until as holes are aligned until this uh, is sitting in there nice and secure. So then let's put this down on my work surface here. And our next step is we're going to attach the handle, which is going to go on the top, and it's going to also secure these other parts in um, permanently. So it's got these little um, kind of blue, uh, almost like a spring-loaded kind of lock on there. And we're going to position these on top. You can see there's a little channel on the back, like a little um, ridge on here. And you want to align that with these uh, little holes that are on the back of the, uh, the big opening here. So the, there's only really, again, one way to put these in where it's going to fit. So we'll just put the handle in on each side here. I'll turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. Just going into those holes. And we're just going to push down on these little uh, uh, spring-loaded um, locks there, and then we're just going to go ahead and push this whole thing down in. It's going to click into place. And this is all nice and secure now, locked in. Um, by putting the handle in, those little spring-loaded pieces pop out the holes that we were seeing there earlier and locks those uh, wheels in place. Now, um, final step, we're going to take this um, kind of uh, activity center piece of the device. This is going to snap on the front, and this is really easy to take on and off um, because it's designed to be something your kid, as they get older, can actually remove from the walker and use as a separate kind of activity center. So that should just go ahead and click straight into the front here. And then our final step um, is we got this little phone that was loose, and this actually just goes right onto the pretend receiver here. Um, now, if you want to actually activate the electronics on here, it's really simple. Just pull this, pop this guy right off, um, and there's a battery compartment on the back here. We can put our batteries in there so that this can actually be activated, and um, when they press the buttons on here, they'll get all kinds of sounds and interactive features and everything. Um, and again, this just clips straight onto the sit to stand learning walker there. And this is all good to go. We're totally assembled, ready to play. Um, and uh, again, really cool toy for your uh, toddler who's just learning to pull themselves up and uh, hopefully start to walk.